Do you know why understanding the world around me is a priority? Because it will drive me mad if I don't. It will drive me stark, raving bonkers. And trust me, if I go stark, raving bonkers, I'm dragging everyone around me down with me, okay? So start coming up with reasons for why my pit boy thinks that's a crossroads. Also, keep your eyes open for death claws. I don't. It's probably not a good sign that I know we're going the right way because we're following the trail of corpses. That is a sign that you have made a variety of bad choices in your life. Either that or the universe has made those choices for you. Okay, no corpses, but that's the broken bridge, so... Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yes, I am honestly, genuinely thinking... Center blood. Once upon a time, I saw those creatures and thought, Oh my God, they're horrific! Now I'm looking at them and thinking, Ooh, that'll keep me awake! Yeah, that... That could definitely be taken the wrong way. Yes, um... Make Mind no you. mistake. Your father would be proud of what you've done. I seriously doubt that. Um, I mean, I suppose saying, ooh, they're delicious, isn't much better. I probably should just not ever talk of it. That sentry bot is... Dead, yes. We're back to following the trail of corpses. No real need to call in Big Town. In fact, no need whatsoever. Let's get back to... La oh, no. First of all, let's offload some stuff, shall we? Right, we can take the truck all the way to Little Lamplight. There are parking spots there. That is very convenient. I wonder if we'll have beaten the kids. What do you think? Can we have actually be... Oh. What was that? What is that? It sounded like something was hitting the truck. Other than my backside as I fell out. Did we run something over? Oh, God. We just all looked to have run over one of the children, wouldn't it? Yeah, no. Pretty sure I'm not that bad a driver. Right, what was I saying? Yeah, I actually think the kids will probably have got here long before us. Be okay, my... You know what? I'll look at that in a second. My limbs are in trouble. Yeah, um... The distance from Paradise Falls to here is... Well, it is a little more than the distance to Big Town. The kids could probably have got to here in the time it took us to get to Big Town. But then we would have had to have driven and maybe the kids would get to there. But that would assume we left at the exact same moment. And we didn't. I hung around looking for those slaves for quite some time. So it's probably a fair bet that they're already home. I definitely... Oh, I need some sleep as well. I... Oh! Okay! Yes! Sleep! I don't need sleep. First of all, Hydra. What I need is brain food, which gives me a little bit of sleep. No, first of all, brain freeze to really caffeinate myself. Yes! Give myself a big boost! And then some brain food to counteract the the slight fuzziness in my brain. Yes, indeed. And now I... I'm still... 
I don't, I don't need any more. Probably not a good idea to take a double helping on my first. I'm still hungry and the, whoa. Does that stuff really dehydrate me? Because I wasn't this dehydrated, was I? I mean, I know caffeine can cause you to, well, go for a wee a lot, but that, right, that's, that's a little dehydrating. This isn't. Okay. 141. You know what? No, I'm going to take another bottle, another bottle of brain freeze. Yes. And I don't need sleep. I don't need sleep. And I do need some water. My hunger is also a little... Okay, you know what? That is that is fine. That is fine. I'm going to take some normal... See, now I actually want to know, does the... Does the brain food dehydrate me as well? I don't think so. All right, you, no, no, no. Right, let's go with... Steamed bread roach. And a bottle of purified water. That's, I'm fine. I'm fine. I don't need sleep. I've got a variety of food and drinks that will keep me going forever. Tricycle. We are not going to be riding around on a tricycle. Even though that does sound fun now. Although now I have an image of me in this pink power armor riding on a tricycle and I realize maybe I do need sleep. Probably. Okay, anyway, let's hope the kids got here in time. Hello, incoming friendly. Very friendly. In... You again? I told you to get lost. You did? But then you asked me to get your friends. I got your friends back. Why can't I come in now? I guess you're okay after all, Mongo. You can come in, but you better not piss me off. Stacy, oh. open the gate and let this Mongo in. I am not completely sure I can guarantee I will not... Could you raise the gate a little higher but big people coming through? Okay, just... Happy birthday, Sticky. Sorry I missed your party. Sticky? Yeah, me too. D Whoa! Sorry. There's nothing happy about it. Okay. This is the worst day Hello, of my life. little person. Okay, so you get in, but I got my eye on you. Did the other kids not arrive? make any trouble in here, got it? I ain't having no shit butts making trouble. No, what? What a great reception for the returning hero. Yes, hero. Me. Boo-hoo, you big baby. Okay. You're still a Mungo, and I still don't like Mungos. And you you're... Party or something? A... You go pay some Mungos to be your friends, and then they can talk all about how great you are. How's that? Mm. Not punching a child. <clears throat> How do you keep this place organized with that crappy attitude? Organized? Have you walked around this place? It's pure anarchy. I wouldn't have it any other fucking way. We can't all stay here forever, so we've all got to leave eventually. Okay. And there's not much to look forward to out there. So we have a good time while we're here. And the occasional ruthless little bastard like me make sure it doesn't fall apart for the other kids. You're making an awful lot of sense all of a sudden. You said everyone has to leave eventually. Why? People change when they grow up, and we don't trust Mungos living down here. So we leave for a place called Big Town before we get too old. Kids who grow up fighting and surviving in Lamplight are better trained for the world out there than idiots who are pampered by grown-ups outside. Okay, I got bad news for you. That is the least true thing anyone has ever said. Ever. The people of Big Town. Uh, uh, how to put this politely? They're kind of stupid. They're very annoying. And if I hadn't come along, they'd all be very, very dead. How did you get to be in charge of this place? Just shouting at people and pointing a gun at them? It's not that complex. Any kid can say they want to be mayor here. It's just that most don't want to bother with the responsibility of leading. Okay. Most of the time, they last until the kids get tired of them. 
Then they get kicked out on their ass by the new mayor. One only lasted five minutes. Of course, I've kept this place going strong for three years. To most kids, that makes me mayor for fucking life. Fine by me, I say. Okay, that's, that's interesting. About time. Can you give me any directions? Without the snark. What do I look like, your tour guide? Apparently not. Okay, look, I really need to get to Vault 87. Do you know the way? It's not safe, even for someone as brave as you. There's monsters back there. I'm good with monsters, so you know how to get there, though, right? Yeah, I do. It's through Murder Pass. Murder Pass. It's not a real safe way to go, but it's the only door that works. Murder Pass. Go What's... That's the only way? It's the only way that works, yeah. I mean, uh... The other door hasn't worked since before I was here. Computer's busted, and not even Joseph can make it work. Where can I find Joseph? I'm the mayor, not a babysitter, Mungo. Beats me. Maybe he's back there by the door. Fuck if I know. I will check the door. So I want to use murder... P no, I, do I don't necessarily want to use murder pass to reach Vault 87. There may be a safer way that's not called murder pass. So I will see you later. Don't let the door hit you on the way out, Mungo. <sighs> Time to go. Well, I might hit you, you know on the, the way out. The rules are stupid. Is it You're me? You're now. You gotta leave. Maybe it is me. I know it's me. I'm, I'm Scanning, sir. Bye, Sticky. As, as yeah. daft as this sounds, I kind of want to Don't check stand there. Get out of here, murder pass just to see what's there. Okay. I, 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 I realise that's my see curiosity gone to whole new levels of, well, suicidal, but I kind of do. Well, okay, excuse me. Hey, beat it, squirt. Wait. There's a kid with a party hat. Just... Wow! What luck! What? Sticky. I'm Sticky. Forget these little kids. I'll take you to Big Town where the Mungos... I mean, where the grown-ups live. I'm headed there now. I oh, know, I just came from there. Um... Yeah, no, I'm, 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 I'm just here. I'm visiting little lamplight, so, um, uh, I'm, psh, yeah, you knock yourself out. Why would you want to visit a bunch of snot-nosed children? I Wouldn't you rather go to Big don't. Town? No. Of course you would. Come on, let's go. I can show you the way. No, I, 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 I've just come from there. I've, I'm, 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 Okay. You want me to take you to Big Town, because you've got to go there now, and you... You're on your own. I'm not interested in babysitting. Look. Look, I can take you to Big Town later. I tell you what, maybe you can help me out. Maybe you can, like, you know, tell me where I need to go, etc., etc. But first, I need to hang around here, yeah? So, you you, you stay put. I'll I'll give you a lift. I'll give you a lift. It's not that far. I'm not allowed in Little Lamplight anymore. Oh. Only people under 18 get to live in Little Lamplight. So when you're done with those little kids... We can go to Big Town together. I'll wait outside for you. Yeah, you do, you do, do that. Um, small piece of advice. Um, like like I, I'm I'm the co-author of something called the Wasteland Survival Guide. We never we never actually. You want to go to Big Town? No. Of course you do. No, I don't. Go away. Why won't you just take me to Big Town? Okay, I will. But listen to me. You're going to have to lose the hat. I didn't put a section in the guide saying things not to wear in the wasteland if you don't want to get viciously murdered. But if I were to do so, that hat would be on page one. I'm just saying, you might want to make yourself look a little less conspicuous and dorky. Yeah? And I appreciate the person telling you this is wearing pink power armor with a giant heart on it, but I draw your attention to the part of that sentence that included the words power armor. You could be conspicuous if you also look a bit Watch for signs like of trouble. a badass. Also, if you have another badass and a giant robot following you. Yes? I mean, feel free to get creative with your look once you have the required firepower to make it stick. Yeah? Hello, small child. What's person. That? 
What are you called? Hey, are we letting Mungo's in now? Didn't hear a scuffle, so I'm guessing you're some sort of guest? Yes! So, what's so cool about you, Fancy Pants? Must be a pretty good reason for you to get let in, see? You don't think the power armor would have been good enough? I mean, look at it. How cool do I look, really? Uh, I'm from Vault! I'm the big hero who rescued your friends from the slavers. I've got a feeling that's not going to go down well. For some reason, the whole hero aspect of it isn't winning them over. I'm from Vault 101, and I rescued some of your friends from the slavers. There's the abridged version. Oh, that was you? <laughs> nice work. I hope you got some good laughs out of it before you left. Gotta make sure they know not to try that again. Speaking of which, okay. I'm Knock Knock. And I take care of the general morale around here. Which is to say, I collect a lot of stories. And sometimes trade them to keep the others amused. Morale's better than less Al, see? Okay, that wasn't funny, but I'm going to let you off because I like you. And yes, for your information, the slavers are definitely... Well, let's just say they would have learned their lesson were they not all very, very dead. So, and yes, I did have some fun. I'm having a hard time seeing how people like you and M McCready, is it? Become people like, was it Sticky? And the rest of the big tap. Does something happen to people here? Because you guys seem pretty switched on and ready to take on the world. But then you become 18 and you stick on a party hat and become a, a blithering idiot. Is there something in the water? You're in charge of morale. What does that mean? You keep everyone happy, yes? Well, technically, I'm patrolling and keeping the peace. Okay. Mostly, that involves making sure people are happy and not getting into trouble. You can't very well keep the peace if you've already lost it, see? So, bam! Sensible. Jokes. Want to hear one? Not so sensible, but... There is no way I can say no to that. I need to know how bad the joke is going to be. Prepare to be amused. Knock, knock. Oh, I'm prepared. Who's that? Noah. Noah plays where you can get some better jokes. <laughs> hey, that's good. I was just going to say Noah plays where I can get some food. Okay, that was really funny. Yes, no, that was... That couldn't have been a joke. Jokes are supposed to be funny. That was hysterical. No, no, that was... There was... There was... Really, really, really funny? Gee, thanks. Ooh. I have to admit, most of them aren't really funny. Okay. At least not ha-ha funny. So you're self-aware, then. like a tradition. Most of them were passed down from this book we found down back, called Vault Boy's Big Book of Laughs for Kids. Okay. They're not really funny, but something about hearing them is a little comforting, you know? I get it. Sometimes bad jokes are funny in of themselves, as long as everyone involved, including the teller, know they're bad. I get it. That's the dumbest thing I've ever... No, it's not. It's not. But why don't you come up with some new jokes or stories to tell? Oh, we've got lots of funny incidents. Like when Sammy shot the raider who thought he was a girl. That sort of stuff. The raider but thought he was a really girl? we don't really get a lot of new stories from outside. The scav teams spend all their time hidden. So they don't get much news, see? I'd sure like to hear more tales from the great big outdoors myself. Actually, if you hear any, feel free to tell me. I got loads of stories. I got loads of stories. Most of them unsuitable for children, but I have a feeling that's not a problem here. Oh, really? Tell me about it. Okay, then. Uh... Long ago, my people were buried away. Now I've arisen to terrorize the waste. That's... No. Uh... I've left, I left my dull life behind to search for fair, no. I mean, it's, oh, this, this, this sounds a little dull though. Not long ago, my father left me, so I went searching for him. Yeah, that's gonna end really badly. Yeah, we want funny stories, right? Okay, fine, I left my dull life behind to search for fame and adventure in the wasteland. Wow, that sounds like it took some guts. Oh, it did. Life down here might get dull. But I gotta admit, at least I don't get shot at. Well, not as much anyway. Tell me more. What's happened since then? Found it, found my dad, but then he died. Okay. 
I've enlisted to aid the brother of Still in my hero. The wasteland is littered with vengeance. Yes, the wasteland is littered with victims of my vengeance and amusement. But we already provide you with plenty of amusement already, right? Like enough so we don't have to end up as victims or anything? Oh, not you. Maybe I shouldn't ask. But I have to know. I knew. Is there more to the story? I didn't mean you. I meant, I meant the slavers. You know, it's about the slave. I'll tell you more, but I'm working on how it ends. Yeah, yeah, no. Right, okay. I was going for heroically dramatic and slightly amusing, not terrifying. Sorry, kid. But, uh, yeah, I can't tell you how it works because I'm still working on that. That makes sense, I suppose. A good story can take a while to put together, you know. Yeah. Can you... Why are you called Knock Knock? It's because you tell Knock Knock jokes, right? Well, when people started calling Nikki by his new name, I needed one too, see? If you're twins, it just doesn't cut it to be called Nick Knack and Sue. <laughs> okay, Nick Knack and Knock Knock. G got it. Is that why you started telling jokes? You figured, well, I got a name Knock Knock. I better. S Can you give me directions? To where, man? Uh, 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 well, anywhere, Doctor? You know that office building near the entrance? When Lucy's at work in there, she's the one who patches this up. Office building near the entrance. Okay, so, right, do you have a trader? There's a souvenir shop just north of the entrance. Okay. That's where Knickknack sells whatever else we can't use. Check there. All right, I didn't bring anything to sell. And food. Take that tunnel north, and when you hit the fork, go left. You'll find the fungus pools easy enough. Fungus pools. Okay. I'm looking for Vault 87. Can you help me find it? You can only get there through Murder Pass. Murder Pass. keep guards there to keep the little kids out. Right. But if you want to have a look, it's north of the souvenir I shop. I want to have a look. I do. I want to have a look. Thank you very much. Okay. She's already answered that one. I gotta, I gotta go. See ya about. Yeah, no, Murder Pass. I just, I want... Look, just peek. We go. We, I just want it... I know there's a better way. There's a better way. I'm going to use the better way. Of course I'm going to use the better way. I'm a sensible person. But they call the place Murder Pass. Are you not a little curious as to... You're not a little curious as... Oh, God, my lights. Essentials. Essentials. Okay. Building is actually built into the inside. I mean, it's almost vault-like in a way. Except also revolting shack-like at the same time. That's almost impressive. Oh, sorry. I almost stepped on Lucy. Uh, excuse me, small child. Could you? I know it's the middle of the night, but I'm on very, very important business. Who are you? What are you doing in here? I rescued the captain. I'm not a big hero. No, I'm a guest in town. Mayor McCready, let me in for rescuing your friends. You said Penny and Sammy and Squirrel? Yes. I can see why RJ let you in. Thanks for all of us. Okay. I'm Lucy. And I Hi. pretty much spend my days playing mommy around here. I spend a lot of time kissing boo-boos and making things better. If you get a scraped knee or stubbed toe, What's a come boo -boo? see me. Oh, Same if you get right. shot in the face or burns all over. But I can only promise so much. Right. Okay then. Can you heal my radiation? How do you get, how do you keep healthy here? There's always one big sister or another who knows her way around a compress and a sewing needle, so we take care of most of the little scrapes. And way back when, someone figured out that some of the plants and fungus around here absorb radiation. The little ones don't like to eat their veggies, but they don't like to be sick either. So we get by. Again, you sound like you your head screwed on way more than the doctor in Big Town. Not that Red's totally... I don't know, she just sounds a bit flaky. Mind you, she sounds a bit like Moira, so that would explain that one. Um, so the own, you're the own... That sounds like it's pretty useful fungus. Actually, it does. It is, especially for dealing with the low-level radiation we all get from the water. The fungus just soaks it right up. 
But it doesn't help the rickets that keep hitting the younger lamplighters. Believe it or not, I can make a treatment for that from extract of buff out. Buff out. Actually, if you can talk McCready into it, I'd be glad to trade some fungus for buff out. But he'd have to say it was okay. Oh, uh, I I've got buff out in the in the truck. I'll I'll talk to McCready. I want to check that fungus out. But you're the only doctor, basically. Well, we all know the basics. Combat first aid, you know. But I've got the most experience at the tough stuff. Okay. Bumble's been learning the most about the more complex parts of cutting and sewing. People tease her, but she's got a steady hand. Bumble. Of course. Now she just needs to learn what you do and don't cut. Memo to self, don't ask Bumble for medical help. Got it. Um, that's all I need to know for now. Thank you very much. Well, until you come asking for a bandage, at least. Uh, can you give me directions? I probably don't need them. D -d 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 no. Well, maybe. Do you know anything well, that I haven't you? already been told? N where can I find a doctor? Uh, stupid question. Okay. Um, what do you know about Vault 87? That's where the monsters come from. Okay. We don't go back there. It's called Murder Pass for a reason, you know. I got it. If you go that get way, murdered. you're probably going to get hurt. I can patch you up as long as it's not real bad. See, I'm also wanting to go, you know, like, like, hey, do a civic duty for the small children of this place by going and finding out why it's called Murder Pass and then murdering everything that tries to murder me. But you know the way, right? It's... We don't go there. It's bad back there. Ask Mayor right. if you really okay, want to yeah, know. Yeah. I'm going to talk to everyone first. I'm going to talk to... Do I have radiation? I don't... I think I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm going to let you get back to work. Thanks. Hopefully, it'll just be skin, knees, and bloody noses today. Yeah. Right. Okay. Smart kid. Again. A lot of smart people here. McCready was around here. Is that... No. You're... We spoke knock-knock. You are... Hi. Mayor said to let you in alive, but he didn't say you had to stay that way. Watch your step, Mungo. Way to make a good first impression. I'm new in town and you're already threatening me. Not a good start, kid. <sighs> it's their town, I guess. Look. I'm glad there wasn't any blood over a misunderstanding. What misunderstanding? I saved your friends. <sighs> Only people who use that gate are strangers, and most strangers aren't welcome here. I'm Stacy, and I make sure strangers stay out. If the mayor hadn't let you in himself, I'd make sure you stayed out too. Well, then I'm glad you're not bloody mayor, then. Do you guard the front gate? Yeah. Right now, we don't even have anyone to cover me when I'm asleep. Now leave me alone. I've got to be ready for duty soon. Meep, 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 Okay. Some of them are smart kids. Do you know what that one reminds me of? Remember Shorty? <laughs> the, some, yeah, I can see, I can see where the shorties of the world come from. I've been here before. No! You have... Not! Okay. Excuse me. Coming through. Souvenirs. Spelunkers and the Great Chamber. Souvenirs? They have a gift shop. Lamplight Cavern Souvenir Shop. So they actually did build these buildings pre-war into these caverns. A bit of a tourist attraction, was it? Okay. Bathroom. Are they actual bathrooms or... No, they are actual bathrooms. Huh. They have got functioning sinks and Toilets. I say functioning sinks and toilets. Yes, they do. They function. They are doing better than Rivet City down here. Well done, I guess. Hello. Mm. Do you not want to speak to me? 
Oh no, no, I want to speak to you. Okay, is that is that your teddy bear in your bowl? I will not step on it. Great chamber. Hi. Mungo, mungo smells like dungo. <sighs> I'm going to rise above it because I'm an adult. Excuse, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Yes, I am above such petty things. And I am certainly not the sort of person who punches a small child for being annoying. Nick knack Hello! Whoa, are we letting Mungo's in now? Didn't hear any shots, so I'm guessing you're not here to raid us. And if you're not here to raid us, you might just have brought something cool for us, see? So, who are you? Okay. And how'd you get let in? Lot of logical leaps there, but uh, that's fine. Ah, uh, I'm the big hero who rescued your friends from the slavers. How's that for cool? You know what? Let's try it again. I am a cool, heroic person. It sure isn't bad. Nice work bringing them back. Okay, cool. You didn't happen to bring anything else back, did you? Gear, equipment, bric-a-brac? Uh, Speaking of which, yes. I'm Nick Knack, and I run the store down here. If you want to trade anything, come on by the souvenir store and we'll talk. Oh. You... Wait, you can repair stuff? Can you repair stuff? Sure, let me see that thing. Let me just... Ooh, no. No, you get your hands off my thing. Uh, I'm... I'm... I'm fine. Uh, and why are you called Nick Knack? Is that because you deal in Nick Knacks? Well, my name was Nick, and I collect Nick Knacks. Uh, okay. Not everything has to be real complex, No, see? no, I'm, I'm... 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 I wasn't judging, I was just... Double checking. Um, directions. Where to, man? Ne food. Probably towards the Great Hall, right? Nah, never mind. Never mind. Okay. And what are you selling? Let's let's have a look. I hope you brought me some cool stuff. Oh, I didn't. I didn't bring the stuff I had to sell. I should have done that. Let's see what you. Ha You've got a power armor helmet. I'm not. Even going to ass. Don't need any. I should start popping these salesman weeklies. I really should. Do you have? No, you don't really have anything of use to me. What? To... Let's see what I've got to sell you. But I honestly, genuinely think the answer is absolutely nothing. I stored every. I did. Okay. I will. I will. I will revisit. Come on back when you got more stuff to trade. When I've got any stuff to trade, you mean? Yeah. Uh, I, 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 I will. Mayor McCready, wake up! Wake up! This is an emergency. This is an emergency. Why are you still pestering me, you moron? <sighs> I want to make a deal about the fungus. <laughs> Feeling sleepy? Yeah, I'll bet you've heard all about the fungus in my cavern. Uh, yeah, the cave fungus, sure. Why did you make that sound? It's food and medicine, and it's the main fucking reason we've stayed alive down here. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, you want a slice of that gray-green gold, huh? I think maybe we could come to an arrangement. What are you offering? Stuff. I need. I bring in needed supplies, and I get the fungus in return. Yeah, there you go. Sure, right. And we'll just trust you to bring us plenty of clean food and medicine, not try to poison us and move in on your own. No, no deal, Mungo. This is our fungus, and we haven't gotten enough to share with freaks like you. Right, fine, whatever. Yeah, that's nice. Scram. I uh, hope you have difficulty getting back to sleep, you annoying pain in the backside. All right. So this heads, oh, won't it? The other passage said, what did it say? It, it did say the main chamber, but it also said something else. And I am curious. Spelunkers. What is a spelunker? Okay. This... Oh god, they get that annoying radio down here. This feels... like a sort of eating area. If, if I'd had to guess, I would have said this... 
Hello! Cool hat! Okay, RJ had better have a good reason to let you in. Because right now, all I'm seeing is a Mungo who's here to take our food and screw us over! Uh... I rescued the kids from the slavers. You owe me some respect, kid. Yeah! Come on! Can I get a little respect? I rescued your friends from slavers. Oh, really? So you're saying you brought back three more hungry mouths, too? Great! You're just making my day better and better! Look, oh, well, I'm you're a player, a... and I'm in charge of the crap we call food down here. And we've got precious little enough to go around as it is. So yeah, thanks for bringing those folks back alive. But don't expect me to throw you a big party over it. Oh, well, I guess if you get kidnapped by slavers, no one's gonna ask me to rescue you. Why are you called a Claire? Well, I didn't get the nickname for being fat and full of cream, if that's what you're asking. Back when okay, I was that's... on the scav team, I found some pages from an old cookbook. Sometimes I'll try them out. Just for the record, don't try making an eclair out of cave fungus. The taste sticks with you, and not in a good way. See, here's the thing. If you were nice to me, I could bring you food from the outside world. So where do you get the food? You this fungus that gets rid of radiation. That does sound interesting. It might not be tasty, but it could be useful. Honestly, when we can't scavenge some from outside, we mostly scrape it off the walls and skim it off the water. No, really. Most of our food comes from fungus that grows in these caves. It's not so bad when you get used to it, and we don't have much choice. At least it's filling, so we don't have to eat much of it. But man, oh man, it tastes terrible! Okay, so where does it come from? It's pretty hard to find, and I hear it doesn't grow in other caves. I don't know why it's here, but without it, we'd be goners. Think fungus just grows on trees? No, it grows in caves! Ugh, Knock Knock came up with that one once, and now it's stuck in my head forever. Doesn't take any work yeah. to get it to grow down here. That's pretty bad. All I have to do is collect and prepare it. Mostly, I try to get the stink off it. Okay. And, uh, how does it grow? They say the fungus grows in the pools where the first lamplighters sent the mungos. That's about the most they ever helped us. Uh... I don't know how true that is. But I know, sometimes, the scav team comes back with the strange meat. It tastes terrible, but the fungus loves it. I don't know where they find that meat. Oh. Uh, but if you could bring some back, I'd be glad to trade fungus for it. Strange of course, meat. McCready'd have to okay it. Dumb. No. No. I know what your fungus grows on. Um, okay. No, with the strange meat. No. No. No, I'm good now. I don't need to know anything else. Sure. I'll let you get back to the fa- Oh, yeah, no, you- I'm good for the food. About time, man. This mold isn't getting any taste Oh, here. yeah, no, right, yes. Yeah, yeah. Don't eat the strange meat. Oh! Okay. I guess that's a mystery solved. And no. Hello? Hi. Hi. Just want to- Hello? What are you doing? What are you, kid, what are you doing? Kid, what are you doing? Why do you have a traffic cone down here? Never mind. I collect also. Kid, could you stop? What are you doing? Stay away, Mungo. I don't want to catch old from you. Yeah, that's not how the aging process works. The education system down here apparently leaves much to be desired. Okay, that's... A pretty big cavern. Got themselves garden gnomes. Okay then. Is this relevant to the mission? Yes! Yes! It is! What is the mission? We have got to get through here to Vault 87. Oh, we see what you mean. Hello. You mean we could just say we, we want to go to Murder Pass and go to Murder Pass? You, we could! Or we could find out what's going on here, get some intel, reconnaissance, that sort of... Hello, he, hi. The mayor said it's okay for you to be in here, right? Yes. Because Mungos aren't allowed in here unless the mayor says so. So are you an okay Mungo? I, I'm, I'm... Because if you aren't an okay Mungo, then that means we should stop you. And that means I've got to get my gun from lockdown. So stay here, okay? Okay, just, just, you don't need your gun, kid. What you need is to perhaps cut back on the caffeine a tad. I mean, and I'm not saying you should quit completely, but you may have taken it slightly too far. You don't need your gun. 
Relax. Oh, that's good, because Mayor McCready says I can't have my gun in town anywhere, not since last time. But that was totally an accident anyway. Yeah. That reminds me. Got a nuka cola? Oh, uh, no. So if I'm not gonna have a gun in town, then it must be okay for me to have one more nuka, right? No. Anyway, everyone calls me Zip, you know. Like a zipper. Only not really like that, because I'm not made of metal. But I do go up and down, I guess. That's not why they call you Zip. That is... That... It, what, why do you think you're called Zip? Why Zip? Or why do I have a nickname at all? I mean, why don't people just call me Ricky? Or Yancey? Or Eustace P. Vanderbagger the third. I mean, they say it's because I'm so fast. But that doesn't make sense because I don't think I'm all that fast. It's just that they're all slow. Yeah. I guess it's just one of those mysteries that'll never really get answered. Sort of like how people made bubbles in Nuka Cola. Say, got any cola? No, 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 definitely not. No, never seen any. Never heard of it. Uh, what, what, what do you know about Vault 87? Yeah, I know the place. Yep, sure do. Monsters back there. Big, scary monsters. Got it. Lots of them. Yep. Tons even. Top, absolutely. Are you going there? Are you? Yeah, maybe. Are you going to shoot them dead? I bet you are. That'll what? be so cool. And wants to eat your face. They do that, you know. They eat... I I'm going to leave now. You, 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 you stay right here. Yeah? Okay. See you next time, mister. Oh, sure, sure, sure. Care to talk? Hello, how are you? I'm fine. I'm not gonna end up like that, am I? Oh, okay. I mean, I, I can handle Bye. my caffeine. Stay sharp. Right? What's wrong? You're the okay, ma maybe, maybe I'll go a little. Did anyone else see a child walk past in pajamas and a space helmet? Uh, up, I can come join you there. Ex ex excuse me. H hi. Whoa. Oh. I've never seen a mungo so close. I need to turn my light off. Are you a raider? Or a slaver? Or a mutant? Because if you are, I'm supposed to go hide. Because I'm too young to use a gun yet. I'm, I'm none of those. I'm a vault dweller, dweller. At least I was when I was your age. I'm a terrible monster come to eat you up. No, no, no. I, I'm, I'm a vault dweller. Did you live in the old vault below? I thought nobody lives no. down there now because it was full of monsters. Right. The mayor doesn't let us go down there because when they went, they didn't come back. You don't look like someone who didn't come back, so maybe you didn't come from there. Great logic, kid. What, 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 what do you actually know of that vault? I don't know what that is, mister. You just... We, 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 we just, we just spoke about it. Okay, why do they call you Bumble? It's just a name, okay? Not my fault I knocked stuff over. Lucy says I still got a lot of growing oh, to do. Oh, is that why you're wearing a helmet? That might exp Oh, it's supposed to be an astronaut's outfit, I guess, with blast off. Okay, can you give me directions? I don't know. I still get lost sometimes. Things are really big. Okay, well, I'm, I'm good. But, but yeah, but, bye bye, Bumble. Bye, bye, Vault Dweller. Wait. Sweet kid, but, um. Not. Vigilance is advised. Oh, come on. It's a cavern full of children. How vigilant do I need to be? Hello, 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 hello. Uh, uh, are you. Just come. Pardon me. I was going to say, you're the. Thanks for getting me back. The girl I, I really rescued. I miss my brother. Right. Everyone calls you a Mungo, but I think you're an okay Mungo. So do I. Thank you very much. Why do you have the nickname Penny? It's not a nickname. My name's Penelope. Okay. okay. They're just lazy and don't like saying the whole thing is all. Okay. Yeah, no. Lazy people. Terrible. Terrible. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm technically Joshua. People call me Josh. It's terrible. Every, the, just two syllables. Or is it three? Josh... You ah, or is you one silly? Anyway, point is they shorten it. I feel, I feel you, I feel you. So bye. Bye. I'm having the weirdest conversations here. I I know. I I realise that. Can you tell me more about growing up, Big Brother? I'm also possibly getting completely lost. You get bigger and stronger. But it doesn't really make you stupid. Then why don't we let people stay here when they grow up? Good well, question. Because having them stay means they start trying to make rules all the time. 
and no one's like that. It's tradition, understand, Penny? Yes, that makes sense. Long distance conversation. So basically, you don't let people stay once they grow up because they start, like, telling you you, you okay? should go to bed and stop drinking Care to talk? sweet drinks. Joseph, I need to speak to you. Well, now, here's something new. What's a grown-up like you doing in Little Lamplight? Don't tell me when McCready's okay. going soft on us. Uh, I'm a big hero. So I saved kidnapped kids, including your sister. That was you? Yes. Well, you brought my sister Penny back. So sure, I'll call you a big hero. All right. Thank you very much. I'm Joseph. Okay. As the oldest kid in Lamplight, I'm pretty much a teacher by default. I also try to keep the kids clean and fresh-faced. I'm not sure if there's anything I can teach you, but if you need a haircut or the like, just say the word. No. And thanks again. Although I've got a bad case of helmet hair, but you know, uh... Can... What sort of education do the kids get in here? I mean, if you're sort of like teaching them. Well, back at the start, all the children had were the notes from the grown-ups that hadn't left yet. And a few books on caves from the store. But after finding the vault, a few scavengers brought back holotapes for basic schooling, reading, basic math, encyclopedias, that sort of thing. We don't get many books anymore from the scav team, but I make sure to keep my own notes on the computer for whoever takes over after I leave. Notes on the computer? That's good to know. And what exactly do you teach them? Mostly whatever they want to learn. We don't have Is strict classes or anything down idea? here. But it does mean they're interested in what I'm teaching. But everyone learns the basics of fighting and shooting and survival. We've all got good. obvious reasons to be interested in that. Yeah, yeah, okay, and how thorough are your teaching materials? We entered all of the books and holotapes into the computer, but frankly, there are a lot of important subjects the Volt's material didn't cover. I could wish for more, but we're probably still the best school in the Wasteland. Maybe the only school in the Wasteland, really. Um... I'm trying to think... Yeah, I've not been seeing a whole lot of schools. I mean, well, I've been seeing a lot of schools, but they're derelict and usually full of raiders. The bullets. A bit odd, that, really. Especially since some of the bullets seem to have been there a long time. Yeah, that's all I need to know. Glad I could help. You're devious. Um, there is a door that doesn't work, apparently. Nuh-uh. Door works fine. Computer's broke. Okay. Well, Please don't be pedantic. Broke, but it sure don't work right. I turned it off because it was just wasting power. Do you not have the password? Nope. Nobody ever wrote it down. And then one day, somebody forgot. You know how it goes. Can you turn the computer back on? Sure, if you want. Awesome. Come on, it's over here. Brilliant. Brilliant. Excellent. I'm following you. Do I have to kick the barrel as well? Okay. Oh. Brother, can I ask you something? Anytime, dear. What's wrong? What's going to happen when you get too old and have to leave Lamplight? I remember asking Flash the same thing when I was your age. He said he was going to Big Town, and I'd see him again when I grew up and left myself. And when the time comes, he'll grow up and leave Lamplight, and meet me in Big Town too. It won't be that long, I promise. But I still hope you don't have sure, to leave too soon, to okay? Out. Sure thing, Penny. Couldn't you coordinate with the people of Big Town, get them to pick you up and bring you, like, like, have, just, just set up a timetable? Here's when the next person turns 18. Please have a couple of people ready to escort them. Although, granted, the people of Big Town, you, you got to be asking yourself how, uh, how badly you want their help. Okay, so, this computer is currently... Open for business! Password raccoons! Okay. Unlock the door. So this... Okay, let's just peek. Let's just peek. Let's just peek. Let's peek. I... I can hear heavy footsteps. I can hear heavy footsteps. We've definitely, definitely got... Right, give me a second. I'm going to lock that. I'm going to lock that. We don't want... I hear heavy 
footsteps. Yes, that is a that is a sneaky way in to the vault. Stay here, okay? Absolutely, little sister. And I know, I know you're thinking, right, mission. Get into Vault 87 and acquire the Gek. Hmm? Abandon these children to their own problems. Nobody needs to sort out murder pass for them. You're not here to be a hero. That's what you're thinking, right? Well, my dad would have helped them, wouldn't he? Wouldn't he have gone and checked out murder pass? Yes, he would. He would have checked out murder pass and made sure that there was nothing there to murder these poor children. That's what he would have done. I know my father. He would have done it and he would have looked like a badass doing it. So that is what we're going to do. We're going to head into Murder Pass for the good of the children. That and the fact that I really want to know how bad it actually is. I don't want to set the world on 